China's space program has achieved a remarkable milestone, the 100th launch of the Long March 3rd B rocket. This event not only underscores China's growing capabilities in space exploration, but also highlights its strategic ambitions. The mission carried the communication technology demonstrator 13 TJS-13 satellite into orbit, a payload shrouded in mystery and speculated to have dual-use applications. In this video, we'll delve into the significance of the Long March 3rd B's 100th launch, explore the enigmatic nature of the TJS-13 satellite, and discuss what these developments mean for the future of space exploration and global security. The TJS-13 satellite, officially named the Communication Technology Experiment Satellite 13, was the payload for the historic 100th launch of the Long March 3rd B. It is described as supporting satellite communication, data transmission, and advanced technology testing. However, the limited information released about its functions has fueled speculation about its true nature. This ambiguity is not new to the TJS series. Previous satellites in the series have been linked to dual-use capabilities, blending civilian applications with potential military uses. For example, TJS-3, launched in 2018, released a subsatellite capable of coordinated maneuvers, suggesting it was designed for more than simple communication. TJS satellites are believed to carry advanced payloads for intelligence, early warning, or satellite inspection activities. Analysts note their potential role in signals intelligence or serving as platforms for testing cutting-edge technologies. The TJS-13 satellite follows this pattern. While officially touted as a communications technology testbed, its launch from the Zichang Satellite Launch Center and placement in geosynchronous orbit align with strategic needs. Geosynchronous orbits are ideal for maintaining a fixed position relative to the Earth, making them suitable for both commercial and defense applications. The secrecy surrounding TJS-13's full capabilities, consistent with earlier missions, underscores China's strategic focus on maintaining an edge in space technology. The launch timing is significant. It occurred during a year when China aimed for around 100 orbital launches, emphasizing the country's ambitious goals. While falling short of this target, the 60 launches completed so far in 2024 reflect a high operational tempo and a focus on building diverse capabilities. The TJS-13 satellite represents another step in integrating advanced technologies into China's growing constellation of space assets. TJS-13's role, whether purely civilian or dual use, demonstrates the strategic importance China places on space. The advancements in communication technologies and potential military applications highlight the satellite's significance beyond its technical specifications. The Long March 3rd B rocket is a symbol of China's rise in the space exploration arena. As the first Chinese rocket model to reach 100 launches, it represents decades of advancement, perseverance, and innovation. Standing at 56.3 meters tall and equipped with three stages and four liquid-fueled boosters, the Long March 3rd B has a liftoff weight of 456 metric tons. Its payload capacity of 5.5 tons to geostationary transfer orbit has made it essential for China's ambitious space missions. The rocket's journey began in the 1990s, with its development officially approved in 1993. Its maiden flight in February 1996 was marred by failure due to a guidance system error. Despite this rocky start, the Long March 3rd B rebounded with a successful satellite deployment in August 1997 beginning a legacy of reliable performance. Over the years, it has supported major projects such as the Baidu Navigation Satellite System, China's counterpart to GPS, and lunar exploration missions like Chang'e 3 and Chang'e 4, which landed rovers on the moon. The milestone of 100 launches is remarkable, given the rocket's role in 96 successful missions out of 100. The 3B has also contributed to international efforts by launching communication satellites for other countries. Notable missions include supporting Baidu's Global Navigation Network and the Chang'e Lunar Exploration Program. It has also been integral to scientific endeavors, including meteorological and communication satellites. This achievement highlights not only the technological sophistication of the Long March 3rd B, but also China's ability to sustain a consistent and robust space program. 
it signals China's readiness for even more complex missions, such as the Tianwen-2 asteroid sample return mission planned for 2025. The 100th launch, carrying the Communication Technology Demonstrator 13 satellite, showcases how China is leveraging its experience to push boundaries in satellite technology and space exploration. The successful 100th launch of the Long March 3rd B and the deployment of the TJS-13 satellite carry significant implications for China's evolving space program and its role on the global stage. Technologically, this milestone underscores China's ability to produce reliable, high-performing launch systems consistently. With a success rate of 96% over its history, the Long March 3rd B has become a cornerstone of China's space endeavors. Its proven reliability and capacity to handle complex missions solidify China's credibility as a global leader in space technology, making it a dependable player for national projects and international partnerships. Strategically, satellites like TJS-13 illustrate China's approach to leveraging dual-use technologies in its space program. Officially described as a communications technology experiment, the TJS-13 is suspected of having capabilities for military purposes, such as signals intelligence or satellite inspection. This dual-use nature reflects a broader global trend where nations blend civilian applications with strategic military goals. Such an approach not only maximizes the value of space assets, but also bolsters national security. For China, this means maintaining an edge in space-based defense systems while advancing its technological expertise. China's ambitions extend well beyond single launches or individual satellites. The country is steadily working toward establishing itself as a leader in space exploration and science. Missions like Tianwen-2, an asteroid sample return mission planned for 2025, and the continued exploration of the Moon and Mars demonstrate a commitment to expanding the frontiers of human knowledge. These efforts reflect not just scientific curiosity, but a strategic intent to cement China's influence within the international space community. Additionally, China is investing in new and diversified launch systems, such as the Long March 12th, which will support a broader range of payloads and missions. These advancements ensure that China can meet the growing demands of its space program, from deep space exploration to satellite constellations supporting navigation, communication, and remote sensing. The steady cadence of launches and developments like TJS-13 emphasize China's intent to challenge traditional space powers such as the United States and Russia, altering the global balance of power in space exploration. As China's presence in space continues to expand, it raises critical questions for the international community. Will this growth foster collaboration in exploring the final frontier, or will it heighten competition and geopolitical tensions? The success of the Long March 3rd B and the enigmatic TJS-13 satellite highlights, the urgency of addressing these questions as space becomes an increasingly integral part of global politics and technological innovation. The 100th launch of the Long March 3rd B rocket, carrying the enigmatic TJS-13 satellite, marks a significant milestone in China's ascent as a major spacefaring nation. This achievement highlights the country's technological prowess and strategic foresight in leveraging space capabilities for both civilian and potential military applications. As China continues to expand its presence in space, the international community will be closely watching, recognizing that these developments have far-reaching implications for global space exploration and security dynamics. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.